So where does somebody start if they think, okay, I have this big pool of IRA money and I'd like to invest in real estate with some of it, where's a good jumping off point for that? Hey, it's a great day to live in Texas. Bill Graves here, and I'm with a very special person, Jennifer Wilson. But you know what? We were talking today about buying houses with IRA money, and she asked me some questions. I thought maybe we can share those questions with you. So here's Jennifer and her questions. Hi everyone. So when I was visiting with Bill, I didn't realize what an expert he was and how much information he had to really share with us um, about how to invest using IRA funds and maybe what a great idea that is. Um, we talk a lot about how you can build wealth in real estate by owning real estate. So you can certainly um, build wealth in the stock market, but also in real estate is a fantastic way to do that. Mm -hmm. So I was just wondering, I didn't realize um, that you could use IRA income. Is that something you can actually do to purchase a property? Y yes, you can. You gotta be careful. Um, it's supposed to be uh, an asset that is for your IRA, not for your enjoyment. Okay. <laughs> so okay. you're not supposed to live in it. Okay. You're not supposed to really take advantage of the property, but you sure can own it. And own it means it can be a condo at Padre Island, it can be a house in San Antonio, it could be land, it could be all kind of real estate. But basically you can buy any type of real estate with IRA money and it would be an asset just like if you bought 100 shares of IBM or whatever else. Okay. So, so the rules you gotta follow, but the key rule is you can't really enjoy it yourself, but you can buy a short-term rental, like mm -hmm. Jessica has some, mm -hmm. and rent it out and, and you know, then maybe drive by it every once in a while and check on it. Yeah, okay, so you can pretend that you don't enjoy it. <laughs> correct, correct, but you're not but really you supposed just, to enjoy it. It can't be your homestead. Yeah, yeah. It can't be your homestead, right? Because you're moving, I'm guessing the reasoning for that is that you're moving one investment bucket of money over to another investment type bucket. Yeah, you don't, you know, mm -hmm. you, you, there's a big penalties, there's no taxes. No, I'm, I'm not a CPA, not a tax <laughs> advisor, but it's very painless if you know what you're doing, but you're not having to really suffer by pulling money out of investing in stocks and bonds if you want to buy real estate. It can be done. So where does somebody start if they think, okay, I have this big pool of IRA money and I'd like to invest in real estate with some of it, where's a good jumping off point for that? Excellent question. Of course, you want to talk to your CPA, tax advisor, first of all. But then you want to talk to, you go online, there's a lot of places to go online and look for information, but you want to talk to a good real estate agent that kind of knows about how to do this and knows it very well. So talk to your tax advisor first and then talk to someone like Jennifer and Bill. Okay, fantastic. Well, that sounds like a good jumping off point. Um, anything else that you kind of would like to let anyone that's watching know about if they're thinking about doing that? Today's a good day to think about it and, and actually take action. You, you always try to wait for the right time. Well, today is the right time to take some action. Okay, so go out today, right? Right. <laughs>